So Elon Musk is at it again, folks. You remember that guy, right? The one who shot a car into space because, of course, why not? Now he's gunning for Uber with his shiny new cyber cab fleet. Can you imagine? A self-driving taxi that's powered by Elon's dreams and presumably our collective fears of robots taking over the world. Fasten your seatbelts, or whatever Tesla calls them in AI lingo. They say, if you can't beat them, join them. But Elon, he's all like, nah, I'm gonna obliterate them with my superior tech skills and make all humans irrelevant. I mean, why ride in a regular old Uber when you can awkwardly sit in a futuristic egg that may or may not glitch and drive you to Antarctica instead of your grandma's house? And let's talk about Steve Pasmani, a self-proclaimed expert in all things Elon, apparently. It's always a party when someone decides to analyze Musk's business moves. Does Steve have a crystal ball? Or maybe some inside scoop from the AI's group chat? Perhaps he's just jealous he doesn't have his own Mars exploration plan tucked away. Imagine calling a cyber cab. Hello, yes, I'd like a tech-savvy spaceship with tinted windows to my mom's. It arrives, you hop in and boom, it plays Beethoven Symphony No. 9 while discussing philosophy with you. Your Uber driver, a fellow who likes reggae. Elon's cyber cab, Beethoven. Clearly, we're all just living in Musk's new age opera. It's a bird, it's a plane, it's cyber cab with autopilot. Not just any cab, mind you, a highly opinionated one. If you're late, it'll definitely blame you with its sassy AI voice. Traffic was your choice. And can we for once talk about the panic moment when it decides to update its software mid-ride? Anyone for a 6G facelift while waiting? Let's not ignore the burning question. Where does it park itself? Does it levitate respectfully outside your house or just sit in your neighbor's birdbath? With Elon, half the thrill is never knowing. With Uber, you might get a wrong turn, but here, you might rediscover Atlantis. But hey, it's all part of the high-tech charm, right? So dear audience, what do you think? Will you book a cyber cab or stick to your trusty Uber? Do you relish the idea of discussing quantum physics with your ride? Or do you prefer your drivers to just say, I'll get you there safely? Are you brave enough to be Musk's next test subject or are you totally picturing a real life Transformers scenario? Let us know. Like and subscribe, please.